Fall is planting time for many livestock producers. The annual winter forages or legumes can all be planted into existing perennial pastures with no-till drills. After all the work is done, the equipment should be thoroughly cleaned. We are going to give you quick tips about some common spots to clean on a hay buster drill, one of the more common no-till drills used by producers in Arkansas. The basic structure of the drill is comprised of coulter wheels that cut into the ground and packing wheels that help ensure firm soil seed contact. Seed boxes with different outlet sizes feed the seeds to the planting wheels. The drill features two large back boxes and a smaller front box to accommodate different seed sizes. The seeds are channeled through tubes to the planting wheels, with larger ones on the back and smaller ones in the front for smaller seeds. Dirk Phillip from the University of Arkansas Department of Animal Science has some advice on cleaning the drill before storage. So one of the places where the seed can plug up that seed feeding mechanism is right below the front box, the front seed box. That seed box is used for small seeds like legumes or anything else and it's going to be fed out of the box right down below those tubes. And what you can do or should do is take the tubes apart, pull down the tube and a pretty common spot for spider webs or anything else is like in here and you can poke with your screwdriver carefully in it to clean it out if there's anything in there. Pay close attention to outlets inside the seed box, where seed can easily accumulate in the black funnels underneath the box through which the seeds fall into the tubes. Dirk Phillip explains why. So much of the seed nowadays, like this one, this is teff seed in this example here, comes coated and that coating material attracts readily moisture and uh, we have seen problems with that if we leave it in the seed box if you do not clean it out it uh, almost becomes like a concrete like substance so you definitely have to clean it out of the seed boxes to make sure you're ready for the next planting season in the back of the drill are boxes installed for larger seeds these are constructed somewhat differently as dirk phillip explains and the way it's constructed you have to remove those pieces of metal to get underneath and clean that out thoroughly because all down there it's old seed from planting. All old seeds should be removed from the seed boxes to keep the drill in good working order for the next planting season, regardless of the type of seed, whether coated or non-coated. So it makes it very unpleasant to work with then if you just let it sit in there for months and then start to clean out the seed boxes, which you should do by the way with a shop bag vacuum cleaner or with an air pressure hose by opening up the seed boxes at the bottom and let the seeds drop out. The large seed boxes feature a slider with which the entire seed box can be opened to help clean out old seed material. From these back boxes, large flexible tubes channel the seed to the planting wheels. These tubes do not plug up easily and we would advise against removing them, as reattaching them might prove difficult due to the clamping mechanism. Another area to take care of are the planting and packing wheels. Soil can easily build up on them if soil moisture is relatively high during planting season. All the planting wheels should be cleaned of soil and other foreign materials. This way, the wheels can be checked for malfunctioning bearings, which can be compounded if dirt is left on them over the winter. Dirt may attract moisture and lead to rust buildup if not removed. In summary, a well-cleaned drill is the best start to a new growing and planting season for the coming year. Cleaning after planting will ensure that your equipment stays in good working order and is ready to use whenever you need it. Your cattle will thank you.